I'm Bob Hallmark in Hawkins today. Uh, let's talk a, lot, a little bit about uh, the things that we need every day as everyday average working citizens. Well, you've got to have electricity, uh, you've got to have heat and air conditioning when applicable, and you have to have water. And that's what we're talking about today is water, but specifically water bills that somehow got routed to another city that really belonged here. And now to explain what I just said, we're joined now by Hawkins Mayor Susan Hubbard. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, Susan, uh, you're in a little bit of a pickle right now because the city recently sent out uh, water bills and you found out something, I guess it was very, very upsetting here. Yeah, we started getting calls. Uh, we sent them out on October 31st and we started getting calls early week people were like, I haven't got my water bill, I haven't got my water bill. Well, um, we contacted the post office and apparently all our water bills got sent to Dallas. Mm -hmm. And they told us that they'd be back in two days. Well, I don't know how many days we're going on today, eight or nine days, mm -hmm. and we haven't got them back yet. And people are wanting to pay their water bills because they're due on the 10th. Mm -hmm. And if they're not paid by the 10th, they receive a cutoff notice. Well, I kind of want to let everybody know we're not going to cut you off, so don't worry about it. We're not going to assess your late fee or anything. You just need to contact the city and get your amount you owe and come pay it. And that's where you are right now. Uh, because of uh, this uh, mistake, uh, nobody has received their water bill, those that are Hawkins customers. Uh, no, they haven't received one, and I've noticed that people have been coming in saying, I haven't received my water bill. I'm here to pay it. Uh, what you're asking people to do right now is get in touch with uh, City Hall. Yeah, need to call City Hall and talk to one of the ladies, um, and they will give you the amount that you owe, and then you can come in and pay it, or you can pay it online, or you can uh, send us a check or whatever, but we mm -hmm. can get you that amount. Now, this is a problem that has affected you before. Uh, you said that you've had some recent problems, I guess, with uh, some postal delivery that... They made some mistakes, but this one is bad because you have a due date when these bills are paid. That's exactly right, and it's it's a sh it's kind of a short window, but that due date is kind of set in concrete. So what we're going to have to do if this continues to be a problem, we're going to have to readjust our bills and possibly go out there and read the meters sooner. And I mean, there's some options out there, and we're going to have to look at all of them. And there could be a substantial cost. To the city if if you don't get this kind of thing cleared up obviously right well i mean look at this i mean there's the late fees that our bills automatically add those late fees on there and so we're gonna have to readjust all that and that takes uh i mean just the very fact that we're answering phone calls i mean like crazy you sat here and listened to them coming mm -hmm. in uh that's taking up our our city employees time that mm -hmm. they could better be used doing something else. Right, and uh, ordinarily something like this is done very efficiently. They have, they have obviously, uh, the bills get uh, mailed out in plenty of time, and uh, the, the receipt on this right now from the city shows that the bills were mailed out October 31st. So it was mailed out in plenty of time to get there. However, you could not have ever known that these bills were going to be routed to Dallas. Yeah, we asked them, because we sort them, before they even get to the post office, we sort them to where all of the city uh, bills are in one stack. Everything else that goes out of town is in a separate stack. So we pre-sort that stuff for the post office mm -hmm. and we give it to them with the expectation that they would not leave Hawkins, that they would be put in or distributed to the city residents. Okay. Uh, obviously that didn't happen. All right, so now we're in a position where if these bills do come back, I'm guessing you're, te you're telling uh, uh, your citizens out here, if you've already paid your bill, if you've already contacted us, disregard this bill when it comes back. Right, yeah, just mark it paid and, mm -hmm. and go on. But, yeah, we're, we're uh, like I said, we're not going to assess anybody late charges or anything like that. But uh, some of them, we got some, I think, yesterday or day before that were mailed out in February. Oh my! So um, there's your some of your inefficiency. All so. right. So obviously this is uh, this is something that that you don't need when you're running city government. Is you want things to run smoothly, and this is uh, right. really kind of a monkey ranch. Yeah. When see, when your local government tries to run smoothly, and then you're uh, waylaid by the federal government, uh, it creates problems. You okay. Know. <laughs> well, Susan, thank you, and uh, I, I hope things even out for you here. Okay, thank you, Bob. All right.
Okay, and remember, uh, there uh, nobody's water will be cut off uh, because of uh, what has happened here. There will be no late fees assessed, anything like that. Uh, and we will have much more on this story tonight on KLTV 7 News. For KLTV Web Extra, I'm Bob Hallmark.